Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Rock Slay, and I am back with another wig review. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you're hitting that bell so you don't miss any notifications of when I upload new videos. So today, you guys, I'm going to be showing you this wig review on this hair that was sent to me from ebonyline.com. And it is by Bobby Boas. I just like saying that. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm from... Baltimore or Maryland or something like that. But anyways, so I got this hair from ebonyline.com. It is the, uh-oh, I don't know the style of this hair. MBLF 260 Ray wig. All right, it is um, a Swiss lace wig and it is human hair blend. So it has that human hair and synthetic blended together. All right, so it has a deep free parting and it is um, a 360 unit. So I have her in the color 1B. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the packaging now. Um, so as you guys can see, I already kind of like brushed out my own baby hairs. I don't know if I'm gonna rock with that or if I'm end up if I'm going to end up creating baby hairs with this unit. Um, but I just figured I would just create some of my own and see how this would look. All right, so this kind of has like a nice body wave to it and take her out of the packaging gosh this is so much all right there's like so it's a 360 lace front wig and this is how much lace you get with the unit as you can see the front part it looks really realistic all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that lace off and it is a brown lace which i actually like that that's more of my like skin tone color all right, um, so it has your two clips in the front, your one clip in the back with your adjustable straps. There are some baby hairs already pre-cut in the back in case you wanted to put it up in like a ponytail style. Um, I'm noticing there aren't any baby hairs in the front, so you would have to create some of your own. However, I am going to attempt to not make baby hairs simply because I already brushed out my own. Um, the reason why I actually did that, you guys, is because I feel as though sometimes when I create baby hairs and I put the Got To Be Glue Gel on there, my edges, I feel like I just be hurting them when it's time to take it off because I get so impatient. Like, my advice is to take it out with water. It'll just come right out. But sometimes I get so lazy and I'm just ready for it to come out. Y'all, I just, like, take it out and then, like, I feel like my baby hairs come out with it which is not a good look all right so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this review i'm just showing you guys the texture and how it looks i think it's really pretty and it looks like she is very 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 long not very 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 long but it feels like it's gonna go down to probably like my waist or something like that all right so i hope you guys enjoy this review
say you're sorry. Oh, maybe I'll leave. Maybe, but you know I never will. No, so I choke you down just like a pill. final look right here definitely let me know what you guys think i personally think this wig is super cute just a few things that i do have to say about this unit though so number one it is big head friendly so if you are curious it is big head friendly um again i did receive this hair from ebonyline.com and i'll be leaving the link down in the information box below if you guys are interested in purchasing this lovely unit i did go off camera to create just a little bit of baby hairs and do a little bit of plucking which i'm going to tell you guys about that in just a second um i did not receive any type of shedding with this hair i mean just a little bit but just not a whole lot and other than that like it was super easy to put on it is long not super long but it comes down to maybe like my bra strap i would say so it's not as long as i thought it would be at first um but yeah y'all so what happened as i was trying to pluck this unit so if you are new to plucking like myself like i've plucked some of my units before but not quite like this so i started off with the um tweezer and then i ended up trying to pluck it with my hand and baby when i tell y'all i ripped the lace like i tore it actually and i'm gonna show you guys see i actually had to cut it right here cut the hair off i was trying to figure out what to do with this hair and i completely tore it as i was trying to pluck it with my hand i guess i went and pulled and tugged a little too hard and a lot of hair came out not only did a lot of hair came out the lace tore i was in complete shock you guys like i literally sat in front of the mirror for like a good second and i was just like Like this is the worst thing that could happen as you're trying to fix a unit luckily it wasn't too bad to wear like i was not able to wear it at all but i mean this is what it's looking like i have to wear it like this from now on if i decide to wear this here this is what i have to wear it like because anything else it's not gonna work because of that tear up there all right so there's that um so i would recommend if you are new to plucking to not plug this with your hand and if you are going to use your hand just try not to do it too hard all right but other than that i think this unit is gorgeous i think it's lovely um after i created the baby hairs i put a little bit of makeup on the parting space you don't get a whole lot of parting space maybe just about like this much right here and then the rest of it i just applied makeup to make it look as long as possible because i don't like like just a little short part um but yeah so that is all that i have for you guys um i hope you guys enjoy this review and definitely stay tuned because i'll be back with more videos pretty soon thank you guys for watching bye